Great morning, mga kahabi. Another day, another learning opportunity. On behalf of the Habi Web Technologies, we would like to welcome you to our webinar entitled Virtual Learning Tools and Techniques. I am Miss Mary Joy Itividad, and I will be your moderator for this morning. I am a current lecturer at Valenzuela City Polytechnic College handling English subjects. Great morning po to all our viewers, both here and abroad. I hope that you had a good sleep because today we will be having an amazing learning opportunity. You may actively interact po on our webinar by giving your comments, suggestions, and even raising your questions. You may also send your support by, okay, sending us your super chat or super speakers. So I know that everybody is excited. So what are we waiting for? Let's get to the bottom line of today's webinar. Let me introduce to you our resource person. Our resource person for this morning graduated from the University of Santa Tomas with a bachelor's degree in information technology. He obtained a certificate in teaching from Philippine Normal University and currently is taking his Master of Arts in Industrial Education, major in Educational Technology at Technological University of the Philippines, Manila. He has 10 years of teaching experience, which started in 2010 when he served as an instructor at Philippine Normal University. He also became an assistant teacher at the Teneo de Manila High School from 2012 to 2014. Currently, He's a lecturer three at the La Salle University Das Marinas and instructor at College of Divine Wisdom. The subjects that he handles range from computer subjects to educational technology. Without further ado, it is a great honor and privilege to introduce to you our resource person, none other than Mr. Rafael John Rivera. Good morning, mga kahabi. Okay, um, I'm going to uh, be starting my talk now, and I'm going to share my screen. Okay, so for a while. So for today, we'll be dealing with virtual learning tools and techniques. Let me just uh, present my screen. Okay. For a while, a window. Share now, okay. Ayan. Kita na po ba natin, teachers, yung ating screen? Okay. So, uh, for today's session, I'll be dealing with uh, virtual learning tools and techniques. So, as we know, 
uh, we've been uh, using different tools from uh, the Google Docs, the Google um, Suite, and the Google Classroom as well as yung ating various um, streaming um, uh, and video applications such as Zoom and Google Meet para mag-create uh, tayo ng ating mga lessons natin. Ngayon, um, before we head out into um, using all these tools, syempre kailangan alam natin kung um, para saan ba yung aling specific tool. Kasi sa dami ng tools na ginagamit natin ngayon, uh, very exactong pagkagamitin ng bawat isa sa mga yon. So for this session, we'll be dealing with how to be able to use those specific tools more appropriately. Okay? So uh, let's get started. So for this session, uh, we'll, re we'll recall the modes of instruction. After that, we'll identify best practices for virtual teaching. And lastly, we'll be enhanced uh, interactivity through built-in and third-party apps. Okay? Now... Um, let's start first with our first agenda, yung sa modes of instruction natin. Now, uh, teachers, di ba kapag um, nire-recall natin yung different modes of instructions, lalo na sa panahong new normal natin, meron tayong dalawang main modes of instruction, di ba? Yung ating tiyatawag na synchronous at yung ating asynchronous mode of instruction. So, let's start first dun sa ating uh, synchronous mode of instruction. So, ano nga bang ibig sabihin kapag sinabing synchronous mode of instruction yung ginagamit natin to deliver our teaching? So, first and foremost, ang uh, synchronous mode of instruction is that uh, this is when learning, when the learning event in which a group of students are engaged in learning at the same time. So, sabay-sabay po ito and this is very much uh, similar doon sa ating classroom setting na face-to-face -face, kung saan lahat ng ating students ay nandoon physically. Now, sa ating new normal na ginagawa natin ngayon, dito papasok yung paggamit natin ng uh, mga apps tulad ng Google Meet at ng Zoom. Okay? So, uh, tulad ng webinar din na to, live na, live na nagaganap yung teaching experience at kasabay natin yung ating mga students na naka-online during that specific time. And similar dun sa ating classroom setting, ang ating instruction is teacher or instruction-centered yung ating approach. Because yung ating mga information na binibigay sa ating mga learners ay uh, directly galing sa atin or galing sa ating material na ating tiyuturo sa ating mga learners. So yung interaction between um, each uh, between the different learners with each other, medyo minimal yun kasi uh, similar sa ating usual classroom setting yung ginagawa natin with the synchronous type of instruction. Now, let's go naman dun sa ating second type of mode of instruction, yung ating asynchronous mode of instruction. So, ito yung tiyatawag natin, uh, ito yung learning event kung saan hindi exactly at the same time nagaganap yung ating learning process. So, bakit hindi at the same time? Kasi pe pwedeng magpo-post kunyari si teacher ngayon ng ang specific question and pe pwedeng mag magsagot yung ating students at a later time. Okay? Uh, dito din gumagamit ang resources sa nagpa-facilitate ng information sharing outside the constraints of time and place. So, hindi kailangan nasa iisang lugar o nasa iisang virtual room yung ating mga learners kasama si, kasama si teacher, makagagawa pa rin natin makapag-transfer um, ng ating um, learning and information sa ating mga learners kahit um, beyond, the, beyond the constraints of the same time or location tayo. Um, Usually, kapag sa asynchronous approach, ito yung um, student-centered approach kasi mag interact with each other yung ating mga students. Mas makakapag-collaborate um, sila using these approaches which I would later on discuss dun sa ating mga um, various tips and tricks later. So, again, kapag asynchronous, dito ginagamit yung peer-to-peer -peer interaction at self-study methods kasi mas modular yung effect kapag asynchronous method. So, katulad nung naka-display dito sa kanan na aking example, so, ito ay isang sample ng screenshot mula sa isang Google Classroom kung saan nakakapag-post si teacher ng kanyang mga question and inquiries, tapos yung katumbas ng ating um, uh, recitation na face -to sa ating face-to-face -face is that nagko-comment yung ating students dito na parang sa mga threads or sa FB, chat, or sa FB messages natin. Okay? So, asynchronous, not at, a, not at the same time, pero makikita rin ng ating mga students uh, yung, yung mga responses ng bawat isa um, whenever they log into that specific platform. Okay? 
Now, given these two different kinds of modes of instruction, uh, alin nga ba dito yung appropriate natin gamitin? Okay? So, to answer that, tatulungin natin um, kailan ginagamit ang asynchronous or at yung synchronous method. So, ang best use natin for asynchronous is kapag mag-reflect tayo sa complex issues or kapag pinapagawa natin sila, for example, ng mga reflection papers or ng essays, best use itong asynchronous method kasi makakapag-isip pa sila ng kanilang isasagot dito. Makakapag-reflect uh, pa sila ng experiences or ng kanilang prior knowledge para ma-build yung kanilang uh, responses dun sa ating uh, binigay na specific na activity. Okay? Also, ginagamit din yung asynchronous method kung hindi pa pwede yung mag-schedule tayo ng ating synchronous session. So, kunwari, um, brown out to sa lugar ng ating learner o kaya naman ay sadyang hindi makapag-swak yung schedule natin dahil may iba pang mga specific na uh, virtual classes din yung ating mga students. So, instead na mag karon tayo ng isang um, session, may pwede nating mag-schedule na lang ng mag, mag gamit na lang ng asynchronous methods para yung ating um, activities at yung ating discussions ay makukuha ng bata at their own pace at their own time. Ngayon, kailan naman kailangan gamitin or magandang gamitin yung synchronous method? So, pwede natin gamitin to kapag tayo ay magdi-discuss ng less complex issues or kapag kunwari yung sa first day of classes or first, first session natin, kung kailangan maging acquainted yung ating students sa atin at sa isa't isa, kung kailangan, kailangan tayo nila makita at makilala, mas maigi na meron tayong um, live na interaction sa kanila para mas madali nilang, para mas madali tayong makapag-connect sa kanila at sila sa atin. O kaya, pwede rin itong gamitin kapag tayo gumagawa ng mga planning tasks. Um, like for example, kapag magbibigay kayo ng mga um, assignments or homeworks na kailangan na group effort or reporting, for example, na kailangan na collaboration na live. Okay? Kaya ito ay ginagamit sa pamamagitan ng ating synchronous methods. Ngayon, bakit naman natin ginagamit ang bawat isa sa mga methods na to? Okay, let's start first sa asynchronous. So, um, in asynchronous methods, uh, students have more time to reflect because the sender does not expect an immediate answer. So, as mentioned earlier, pwede pang magkaroon ng konting panahon para mas makapag-isip-isip yung ating estudyante bago makapagbigay ng specific answers dun sa ating mga inquiries. Okay, and mas maganda to kapag magbibigay tayo, for example, ng mga reading assignments at dito pe pwedeng uh, may check yung understanding nila. Okay, and for the synchronous naman, ito ay, um, it allows the students to become more committed because a quick response is expected. So again, real time to, parang yung sa classroom setting natin, kung saan kapag tayo ay nagbigay ng tanong sa ating students at kailangan natin ng agad nagarang sagot, mas mainam na synchronous methods yung gagamitin natin para makita natin kung ano yung responses ng ating mga students agad-agad. Ngayon, papado naman natin gagamitin itong mga dalawang methods na to. So, sa asynchronous methods, pwede tayong gumamit ng emails, pwede tayong gumamit ng mga discussion boards, or katulad dong sa ating Google for, Google um, Classrooms na pwede tayong mag-post ng mga lessons, ng mga um, guide questions, at ng mga inquiries. Ngayon, para sa mga homework natin, kung dati tayo ay nagpapagawa ng mga reflection notebooks, for example, or journal, ngayon, pwede gamitin na yung mga tinatawag na mga blogs, or weblog para makapag-record tayo ng ating mga um, reflections ng mga sudyante. Okay? So, yun yung asynchronous methods uh, na ginagamit natin as of, these, na, as of these types. Okay? Now, para sa ating mga synchronous modalities naman, pwede tayong gumamit ng mga video conferencing apps, gaya ng Zoom at ng Meet, at maging ng ating Skype and other um, available web video conferencing apps. Other than that, pwede rin gumamit ng instant messaging or chat gaya nung sa ating mga platforms. Okay? Uh, ang pinaka-simple ang pinaka ang example nito ay yung parang sa Facebook chat. Although yung mga various LMS or learning management systems na available sa atin um, gaya nung sa Google Classroom uh, o kaya naman yung sa ating Quipper or other, or other LMS na ginagamit natin ay nagbibigay ng capability din sa atin na makapag-live the chat. Okay? 
Now, um, some examples for the use of the synchronous and the synchronous uh, methods. Okay? So, ito yung mga case scenarios natin. So, for example, in the asynchronous method, uh, the students are expected to reflect on a course topic and maintain a blog journal. Okay? Other than that, pwede rin gamitin nito yung um, mag-assess ng peer ideas through a discussion forum. So, makikita nyo sa isang discussion forum kung paano mag-interact yung ating mga students sa, sa isa't isa. So, kunwari, magpo-post lang tayo dito lang isang question and we would allow them to be able to um, respond to their um, classmates' answers to prove or disprove or upvote yung tiyatawag na mga responses nila. Okay? So, for the synchronous method naman, um, students are expected to work in groups. It may be advised using group chats. Or pwede rin tayong, uh, for example, the teacher wants to present key concept in a simplified way using um, an an online lecture using video conference. So, katulad nito ang ginagawa natin right now sa Habi, ito ay isang online um, video conferencing. So, synchronous, uh, real-time. So, kung paano ko nag-discuss right now, nandiyan din kayo sa aking harapan at nakakapag- um, at nakaka-reply sa akin through our uh, given chats that are our given chat options down below sa ating YouTube channel. Okay? Now, since the differentiate na natin yung ating synchronous at asynchronous methods, we will now be uh, moving forward with the best practices for virtual, uh, for synchronous virtual sessions. Kasi um, for this specific um, session natin today, I'll be giving more emphasis dun sa ating uh, synchronous sessions kung saan gumagamit tayo ng mga video conferencing apps. Ano yung pwede natin gawin at mga uh, do's and don'ts uh, sa paggamit ng ating mga uh, web uh, video conferencing at yung pwede natin i-apply sa ating day-to-day uh, -day sessions with our students online. Okay? So, let's start first with number one. So, number one is to develop ground rules initially. So, dapat day one pa lang, meron na tayong do's and don'ts sa ating mga students. Ano yung best practices na ating ibibigay sa ating loob ng classroom? So, parang ito yung first day of classes natin, magbibigay tayo ng set of rules and regulations sa susundin ng ating mga students. So, dapat ba kapag, for example, tayo ay merong virtual session, ilang minutes ba dapat before the specified time, kailangan na kalang ina yung students natin? Um, dapat ba, uh, as well as, for example, dapat nakamute tayo kapag um, nag-join ng ating um, virtual classroom para hindi tayo nakakaabala sa ibang members ng ating virtual classroom. Okay? At yung iba pang mga other rules na gagawin natin as we go along with our day-to-day -day sessions. Okay? Number two, incorporate stories and meaningful activities. So, kapag gumagawa tayo ng mga materials or ng PowerPoint presentations, for example, na ating i-discuss sa ating um, uh, virtual sessions, mas maigi kapag uh, less text yung ating inilalagay sa ating mga presentations at mas maigi kung uh, magta-tie up into one whole story yung ating buong session para mas medyo may relate sa ating students. At syempre, in order for us to be, um, to apply appropriate interaction, magbigay tayo ng meaningful activities na magagawa at carry ng batang uh, ma-accomplish within the specified um, hours of the session. Okay? Number three, engage the learners frequently. Ito. Uh, ito yung isa sa mga challenges sa ating mga virtual, um, uh, virtual classrooms compared sa ating face-to-face classrooms. Kasi di ba sa face-to-face -face classrooms sa atin, makikita natin isa-isa kung anong activity ng mga bata. Kung paano yung reaction nila sa bawat pagaganap sa uh, pag-discuss natin sa lessons natin. Um, ngayon, compared sa ating virtual sessions, paano natin makikita kung uh, nag-respond ba properly yung ating mga sudyante or uh, naka-idle na ba sila or what not. So, in order to engage learners frequently, um, dapat every 3 to 5 minutes magbibigay tayo ng specific engagements tulad ng mag-ask tayo for example sa chat kung uh, ano yung reaction nila for example with that specific topic or the current um, examples sa binibigay natin right now. So as an example, uh, mag, uh, mag-hinga po tayo sa ating chat po na right now para makita po natin kung sino po tayo. Okay? 
Ayan. So, ganun po yung examples ng ating pag -e engage po sa ating learners. Now, other than using itong mga chat natin, pwede tayo magbigay ng iba pang mga um, activities para ma-engage at para ma-ensure na nag-react at na nakakasabay yung ating mga learners sa atin. Okay? Number four, uh, encourage learner inquiry and insights. So, syempre, uh, hindi lang dapat one way ang ating um, discussion sa ating mga students. Kailangan meron din um, tayong inputs from them to ensure na nakakasabay nga sila sa ating mga um, tutorial concepts. So, what better way is that makapag-ask um, tayo dito sa ating learners kung ano yung mga current insights nila at kung may specific questions sila regarding the, regarding the current topic that we are discussing. And then, number five, ayan, highlight the importance of learner participation. So again, hindi sapat na laging kay teacher galang yung ating mga inputs kapag tayo ay nagkakaroon ng mga virtual classroom. Kailangan din na uh, mag-participate with each other yung ating mga learners. So again, using utilizing yung mga tools na available sa ating platforms, eh, pwede natin i-highlight yung ating participation ng mga students sa atin. Okay? Now, heading out with number six, utilizing small groups. So depending on yung sa depending on sa ating mga platforms or tools, pwede tayong gumawa dyan ng mga small groups na pwedeng mag- uh, group yung ating mga learners for them to be able to interact. So this is very much similar sa ating mga group-based activities sa binibigay sa ating classroom this, sa ating classroom kapag tayo ay nasa um, typical classroom discussions. Okay? So right now, since digital na tayo, may mga features yung ating mga platforms such as yung sa Google na pwede natin i-group po into um, similar chat rooms yung mga students natin para makapag-interact sila with each other in order for them to be able to plan out yung ating mga activities. Okay? And then, number seven, adjust your tone and pace following the needs of the learners. So, um, again, kaya kailangan natin i-engage yung ating mga learners is to be able to know kung nakakasunod nga ba ang bawat isang learner natin. And then, kung hindi sila makasunod, for example, that's when we would be able to adjust our tone tsaka yung pacing natin para bawat isa ay nasa same level ng ating discussion. Okay? So, this is very much similar sa ating face-to-face um, -face nating um, discussions kung saan yung ating um, uh, tone ay hindi naman laging consistent kundi ay depende kung paano ang pinaka-applicable sa, sa ating specific scenario sa ating classes. Okay? Heading out with number eight. Maximize the capability of the tools and platforms used. So, depending yan kung mapa-Zoom or mapa-Google Meet yan or kahit sabi natin Google Classroom, uh, madaming tools available sa atin kahit sa ating mga free edition. So, sa dami ng ating tools available sa platforms natin, uh, mas, magi, mas maigi kung ating i-explore uh, to the fullest yung capabilities ng bawat um, tools and platforms sa ginagamit natin para makapag-deliver tayo, for example, ng ating intended outcomes sa ating mga learners. So, for example, sa PowerPoint, meron tayong mga ginagawa dyang um, interactivity, interactive methods para mas ma mabigyang emphasis yung mga, mga lessons natin na pinapresent natin through that given software. Ngayon, um, yung certain capabilities such as yung chat, yung reactions, and emojis, pwede natin gamitin ito para makapag-further ng learner engagement natin. So, explore-explore lang tayo, mga mamat sir, para magamit natin fully yung capabilities ng ating mga platforms. And then, heading out to number nine, keep things simple. So, hindi kailangan laging um, over the top. Hindi kailangan laging madaming effects or animations or madaming gumagalaw. Um, ang importante lagi sa ating learner, learning ay yung ating content. So, it, so whether or not madami tayong mga ginamit na uh, um, animations or effects or um, kahit mga emojis or bitmojis, mas maigi pa rin na simple lang at malinis yung dating ng ating mga uh, materials na pinapresent through our virtual sessions. So, mas simple, mas nakafocus dun sa content yung ating mga learners. At kapag mas nakafocus sila sa content, mas madali ang ating delivery ng ating um, instruction between us and the learners themselves. 
And last but not least, number 10 is to follow with supplementary activities. So again, um, as with yung ating normal classroom sessions, limitado lang usually yung ating oras sa kanilang um, sa pagbibigay ng virtual session sa kanila. So with regard to that, kailangan meron laging follow-up activity after um, the session sa gagawin ng ating mga learners para ma-ensure na kanilang na i-apply yung mga concepts sa tinuro natin as of that uh, specific moment at para din ma-ensure kung kailangan pa nila ng remediation or additional information na follow-up. Okay? And yun po yung sampung um uh, best practices natin for virtual uh, synchronous sessions um, to cap it up again to reiterate so first and foremost develop ground rules initially second is to incorporate stories and meaningful activities third is to engage the learners frequently fourth is to encourage learner inquiry and insights five is to highlight the importance of learner participation six is to utilize small groups seven adjust your tone and pace following the needs and the, the needs of the learners. Eight, maximize the capability of the tools and platforms used. Nine, keep things simple. And ten, follow up with supplementary activities. So kapag natandaan po natin tong ten best practices para sa ating virtual synchronous sessions, masusulit po natin yung limited time na binibigay po natin kapag tayo ay nakapag um, virtual classrooms. Okay? Ngayon, let's head out dun sa ating mga tools na available for our virtual synchronous sessions. So, hindi kailangan laging mag-subscribe tayo sa isang bagong app or um, bagong uh, material para laging makapagbigay tayo ng top of the line na ating um, uh, student engagement at um, information sa ating mga students. So, may mga tools na built-in at meron ding available na third-party na tiyatawag na software na pwede natin gamitin para makapag-conduct tayo nito mga sessions natin. Okay? So, let's start first with yung sa ating, um, there, these two things. So, built-in tools, tsaka yung ating tiyatawag na polling software. So, yung mga built-in tools para sa ating um, uh, engagement, Ito yung available na sa kung anong platform na ginagamit natin. So kung kunwari nakasubscribe tayo sa Microsoft or sa Google, may mga specific tools tayong pwedeng gamitin dyan para makapag-engage tayo sa ating learners nang hindi tayo kailangan mag-download ng kahit ano, nang hindi tayo kailangan bumili ng kahit ano. And, another, uh, and on the second part is that pwede tayong gumamit ng mga tinatawag na polling software. Now, most of these are third-party software meaning hindi siya kasama dun sa given platform natin. Um, karamihan dito may bayad at meron din namang mga libre. Yung ipipresent ko po sa inyo mayamayang konti is isang uh, libre ang polling software na pwede natin gamitin sa ating mga virtual um, sessions natin. Okay? So, ano nga ba yung available na ating mga built-in tools? Ayan. So, depende po dun sa ating uh, platform, Mayroon po lagi tayo yung chat feature. So usually nasa gilid lang po yan, pwede tayong itagal yan, lalabas yung ating um, chat box yan, for example, dito sa Google Meet natin, at makakapag-interact po tayo, not only with the instructor, but also with the other different learners. So pwede tayo mag, uh, mag, uh, gamit po nito para makapag-enable uh, ng mga inquiries ng ating mga students, at Kapag kunyari sila ay kailangan sumagot sa atin ng hindi audio, pwede natin gamitin yung chat para mabilis at tayo makapag, uh, makita natin yung ating uh, mga messages ng students natin. Okay? Other than that, syempre alam naman po natin yung ating reactions or emojis. Gamit na gamit po natin yung sa Facebook. Now, other than Facebook, yung mga learning platforms po natin, karaniwan meron din po tayo mga reaction or emoji. So, kunyari po sa live stream po na to, pwede tayo mag uh, create ng mga reactions para uh, makita po kagad ng ating instructor o ng isa't isa kung ano yung feeling natin at that given current point in time. So, happy ba tayo? Heart ba yan? Or super like ba natin yung ating uh, specific na topic? Madaling makita yung reactions kapag gumagamit tayo ng mga emojis na available. Okay? So, depende po ang mga tools na to kung anong platform ang ginagamit nyo. 
Pero majority po nito ay pwedeng uh, gamitin ng libre at walang upgrades po natin. So explore lang po natin yung mga tools po natin, whether it's Google, whether it's uh, Microsoft, or kung ano mga learning management system na available na ginagamit nating schools or ng ating division. Okay? Now, let's head out to the second part, which is yung titawag natin yung mga third-party software. Now, itong third-party software, as mentioned, ito ay hindi kabilang sa mga built-in tools. Ito ay separate na app or separate na website na ating pupuntahan para ating magamit. Okay? Isa dito sa mga polling software na tinatawag natin ay itong Poll Everywhere na software. Now, ang Poll Everywhere ay isang application for audience participation. So, it can bring more interactivity into your classes to further engage students in the learning experience. Ngayon, anong merong available dito sa ating Poll Everywhere na software? So, kapag ginamit po natin ito, pwede tayong gumawa ng mga multiple choice questions, pwede tayong mag-explore ng word cloud, ng Q&A questions, clickable images, open-ended uh, text, at yung mga competitions na parang uh, na live competitions kung saan pe pwedeng magpaunahan yung ating mga students sa pagsagot. Okay? Now, before I head out, okay, for a while, Okay. Ngayon, uh, with the use of this specific software, uh, meron tayong limang tiers ng ating uh, subscription dito. Uh, but of course, ang ibibigay ko lang muna dito is yung ating tatlong pinakamababang uh, level, of, level of subscription from the free unto the yung medyo affordable kahit pa paano. Now, uh, as mentioned, hindi kailangan lagi tayo magbayad kaya pwede natin gabitin ito as free lang, although mayroong certain um, capabilities na nakalock dun sa ating free version. So yung ating intro uh, version versus the present, the present, and the engaged versions, ito yung top 3 na pinaka-affordable at libre na versions or subscription methodologies para sa all everywhere. So yung intro ay isang free version lang siya. Kumpara natin doon sa dalawang sumunod is yung dalawa, yung kalawa, which is the present is around $120 or around 6,000 per year. Whereas yung ating engage is around $504 or 25,000 pesos per year. Ngayon, again, as mentioned, hindi kailangan nating gumasta palagi para sa paggamit ng mga gitong software. Yun nga lang, medyo may mga capabilities tayo uh, we need to deal with kapag sa ating free version lang. So, uh, one good thing is that uh, whether it's an intro, a free, or an, or an engaged version, laging um, unlimited number of questions yung pwede natin gawin with our Poll Everywhere software. Okay? Ngayon, ano ang difference itong tatlo ngayon? Ngayon, um, if you could notice, uh, it would now um, differ in the number of audiences. Okay? So, sa intro version, 25 max audiences or 25 students lang at a given time ang pwedeng mag-interact sa ating Poll Everywhere software. Compared sa ating present na may 700 uh, max audiences at sa ating engaged na may unlimited audience. So, kung hindi naman natin kailangan ng napakaraming um, interactions, pwede na natin gamitin talaga yung ating intro version kung saan mayroong 25 max number of students na pwede mag-interact with our polls na ginagawa at a given time. Okay? Now, another difference is that merong branding ng Poll Everywhere, yung ating intro, kung saan nakalagay doon yung logo at yung pangalan ng Poll Everywhere, compared sa mga paid versions na nakatanggal na yung Poll Everywhere branding at pwede mo lagyan ng custom na logo, kung saan pa pwede mo lagay yung logo ng inyong school or ng division para mas customize yung ating um, interaction sa ating mga students. Now, kung uh, in the delivery ng ating mga um, synchronous, synchronous classrooms, hindi naman kailangan laging um, naka-customize yung ating um, yung ating mga polls na binibigay sa kanila. So, pwede na sa atin yung uh, merong nakalagay dyan na poll everywhere na branding. Okay? And last but not the least, yung ating uh, one feature na available sa Engage at hindi available sa mga mas mababang tier is yung mga reports, grading, and ranking. Ngayon, um, 
magandang gamitin yung reports, grading, tsaka ranking kapag i-export mo yung results ng ating mga polls para i-record bilang, um, for example, ay mga summative assessments. But as I mentioned earlier, um, mas maiging gamitin ng mga polls para makapagbigay tayo ng um, formative assessment. So kung formative to, hindi recorded, so hindi natin necessarily kailangang uh, i-monitor yung ating grading at report. So kailangan lang natin makita yung interaction ng ating students para makapag-react tayo kung paano natin i-further enhance yung ating current topic or kung kailangan pa natin magbigay ng further na mga supplementary material sa kanila. Okay? So yun yung difference po ng ating free and subscription. So um, since we're going to be um, using the free or the intro version, uh, at tanging um, kailangan natin gawin lang dito is that I-ensure lang itong 25 max audiences natin na to. Uh, so, every time na magbibigay tayo ng poll, every time na gagamit tayo na ito for a different session, i-clear natin yung response which I'll be showing on later when we um, use the specific software. So, kung hindi problema sa inyo ang 25 persons na pwede mag-reply uh, or mag-engage um, dun sa ating polls, okay na tong ating free or intro version. Um, another good thing with sa ating poll everywhere is pe pwede natin ilagay siya sa ating Google Slides. Ngayon, kung um, as mentioned sa mga previous training sa Habi, ang ating Google Slides ay free at um, easy to use na slide presentation software na comparable sa ating um, MS PowerPoint. Ngayon, Ang ating Google Slides ay pwedeng mas lumakas or mas magkaroon ng capabilities by placing on or installing add-ons. So kapag pumunta tayo sa ating Chrome Web Store, pwede tayong mag-install uh, ng ating Poll Everywhere add-on na magbibigay sa ating capability na mas madaling mag-import ng ating mga poll questions directly dun sa ating mga slides. Now take note, hindi natin kailangan laging gawin ito kasi pwede mo namang gamitin ang Poll Everywhere right from their website. So no apps is required para gamitin yung poll everywhere, although mas madali kapag in-integrate natin siya, for example, sa ating Google Slides. And now, without further ado, let's try it out. Okay? Um, before, uh, you could now, guys, um, go to https www.polleverywhere.com para masimula natin ma-explore yung ating software. Now, habang um, check nyo po yung ating software, uh, I'm going to I'm gonna switch my screen from this presentation into using my Google Slide, and I will be demonstrating kung paano ginagamit sa Google Slide yung ating Poll Everywhere. Now, for a while, I'll be stop sharing my screen muna. Okay. So, right now, andito po ako sa aking um, Google Slide na ginawa beforehand kung saan nakapag-install na po ako ng aking tinatawag na Poll Everywhere na add-on or plug-in. Kaya kung makikita nyo dito, sa mga familiar sa mga gumamit na po ng ating um, Google Slides, meron na po ako dito ang bagong um, menu sa aking menu bar. So, before, wala itong Poll Everywhere na to da dahil since in-install ko po yung ating Poll Everywhere extension, lumabas po itong menu po na to. So, by clicking on this one, pe pwede po tayo mag-create ng activity directly mula sa ating poll, mula sa ating Google Slide. Or pwede rin tayo mag-insert ng ating available activities na ginawa natin within the Poll Everywhere website. Okay? Now, pe pwede ka rin mag-customize um, ang preference at mag-contact ng support or mag-download ng specific um, logs. Now, for example, let's try out itong mga sample kong polls dito sa aking presentation. So again, I'll be clicking present here sa aking Google Slide. And then we can follow along sa ating paggamit ng polls. Now, as I mentioned earlier, since ang ginagamit ko lang po ay free version, meron lang po tayong maximum of 25 participants. So first 25 lang po ito na makakapag-log in mamaya sa link na ibibigay ko ang makapag-participate dito sa questions na to. Okay? So... Ayan. So, let's try it out. So, Poll Everywhere samples. Now, meron siyang mga multiple choice questions as mentioned earlier na get yung itsura po niya. Okay? So, which of the following is a noble gas? Okay. 
for a while, magayo may konting technical difficulty po tayo. Activity not found, sorry. Okay, for a while. I'll, I'll be stop sharing my screen for a while. Teka lang po. May konting technical difficulty lang po. Okay. Um, I'm instead of going uh, with the poll uh, with the Google Slide sample, I'll instead be going inside the poll everywhere itself. Para pakita po yung ating samples. Kasi gaka problema po yung aking integration for now sa aking Google Slide. So para mapakita para mapakita po sa inyo yung effect nitong mga different available um interactions mag punta po ako doon sa ating mismong um website itself. Okay. So for now I'll be sharing my my um tab which is yung poll everywhere na tab. Okay. So, ito po. Kita po ba natin po ito? So, in order for you to be able to respond, please go to paulev.com slash rafaeljohnr260. Okay? Um, other than yung sa website pala po natin na to, <coughs> excuse po, pwede po tayong mag-collect ng response sa ating students sa pamamagitan ng text message. Although, i-configure pa po natin ito for the specific number na available sa Philippines. Now, for now, itong number that displays sa aking screen is um, Asia, ang um, ating region. Uh, unfortunately, it would incur you po ng cost na long distance for the meantime kasi wala pang specific na Philippine na country na kalagay po dito sa ating poll everywhere. But nonetheless, pwede po natin gamitin yung ating web version which is at paulev.com slash rafaeljohnr260. Okay? Now, ayun, may nagsagot po dito ng isa. Okay, now, which of the following elements is a noble gas? So, type in your responses. So, kapag pinunta po niya sa ating paulev.com slash rafaeljohnr260, makikita po natin dito yung ating choices automatically sa mga cellphone natin or sa laptop natin uh, kung ano yung available choices sa screen. Okay, now, magbigay po tayo dito ng ating uh, sagot po natin. Okay. So, other than this one, ayan. Ito. Another type of interaction na pwede natin gawin is yung titawag nating word cloud. Okay? So, for example, ito ay ang word cloud natin. Okay? Uh, pwede tayo magbigay ng mga um, ng mga keywords. Yan, papasok na po yung keywords sa submissions ng ating mga students. So, magbigay ng mga setang tumutukoy sa pamahalang Commonwealth. So, mayroon nagbanggit dito ng Quezon, Manuel, Shared. Okay, mayroon naligaw po atang helium kanina dito. Okay? So, eto, live po ito na nakaganap. So, yung mga participants po natin na nag-enter dito sa Poll Everywhere, lumalabas po dito yung kanilang mga responses in real time. Okay, masagana, payapa. Okay? So, ito yung mga examples na pwede natin gamitin sa pamamagitan ng ating mga word cloud. So, maganda po itong example na to kapag tayo ay gumagawa ng mga questions sa pertaining sa mga concepts or mga key events, for example, sa maghihingi ng mga interaction ng ating mga, student, ng ating mga learners. Okay? So, I'm going to the next slide with regards to this one. So, next question na tayo. Ito, AP ulit. Sa mapa ng Cordillera Autonomous Region, alin dito ang probinsya ng Abra? Okay? So, kapag punta nyo po sa ating uh, automatic po, lalabas po dito yung ating answers. Ayan, nakikita po natin. May mga sumasagot na po dito kung saan yung ating, kung saan dito sa slides yung Abra. Okay? So, again, sa mga learners sa atin, makikita nila dito, yung itsura na itong map na ito, pwede sila mag-pin ng location. So, parang nagpipin lang tayo ng, for example, ng ating Angkas or ng Grab or ng ating mga iba pang riding apps. 
Okay? So, show regions. Ayan. So, mayroong anim na sumagot dito sa taas. May isa dito sa gitna. Uh, now, take note po, again, ito sa picture po na ginawa ko po, ang Cordillera Autonomous Region po ay itong kulay puting area lang po na ito. So, yung mga gray areas po, ibang region na po yon Okay? So, ipanatili lang po natin yung ating response dito sa ating gitna. Okay? Ngayon, uh, para po dun sa mga sumagot po dito sa bandang taas po na ito, itong norte po na ito na mayroong five responses as of the moment, ito po yung um, probinsya po ng Abra. Okay? Ngayon, maraming gamitin po ito, hindi lang sa AP, pwede rin sa biology, for example, pag maglalabel tayo, for example, ng parts ng plants or parts ng microscope or specific parts ng organs ng body, madali po ito para ma-check kung uh, gets nga ba ng ating mga students kung alin yung mga parts sa tinutukoy natin dito. Okay? Eto. Ngayon, ito po ay isang open-ended uh, type of question kung saan pe, pwede po kayo magbigay ng responses na short short answers dito. Ayan. Tapos, lalabas po dito in uh, the top 10 kung ano yung mga top 10 responses. Ayan. Pupasok na po yung ating mga responses. So, may nagsabi ng module, middle up, IDK, for modular quizzes. They can access anytime. Students can access materials at their own time at modulars. Okay? So, as you notice po, abang mag-scroll po ako dito, in real time, lumalabas po dito, ay may bumabati pa po ng high po. And may nakalagay din dito Google Classroom. So, uh, take note as we present po itong mga ating mga different tools natin, kailangan i-moderate po ay natin yung ating mga students sa mga sagot nila uh, with uh, the given um, software. Katulad na pag-handle natin ang mga recitation ng ating students sa ating mga face-to-face -face classrooms. Okay? Now, let's go to the next question that is available. Ngayon, ito ay isang um, reaction-based lang na survey. So, kung makikita po ninyo dyan sa ating screen po ninyo, meron tayong iba't ibang emoji na available at kaya ay pumapasok na po yung ating mga responses. Okay? Kung ano ang reaction nyo po dito sa ating current session. Okay? So, kung makikita nyo yung responses nyo po dyan, meron po tayo dyan yung like, yung heart, yung um, excited, at yung palakpak po na reactions. Okay? So, pwede itong gamitin para maging pulso po kapag nag engage po tayo, as mentioned earlier, dung within 3 to 5 minutes to ensure na, na andyan pa yung ating mga learners at nagpa-participate pa sila. Okay? So right now, mayroon tayong 16 different uh, 16 surveys at mayroon 87 students, 86, 89 and counting na nakakapag-react na po sa ating current slide. Okay? So nakakatawa naman po na lahat po tayo ay dito at, uh, na, at gumagamit ng ating mga reactions po. Okay? Other than that po, ayan, ito na po yung pinakatali ng ating mga responses. So sabi nila, uh, 44% ng lahat ng respondents ay like itong ating current session. Thank you very much po. Okay? At pumapangalawa po dito yung heart reacts, which is 40. At pumapangatlo yung ating applause reacts, which is at 20%. Okay? So, um, sana po lagi patuloy lang po natin i-heart lagi ang ating hobby web technologies para sa ating mga further um, webinars na available. Okay? So, maliban po sa ating mga um, surveys, gaya po nito, na pwede magbigay ng mga emojis or reactions, pwede rin po tayong magpa-game or pwede tayong magpili ng mga groupings. So, meron ako dito ang apat na groupings available, which is Alpha, Beta, Gamma, and Theta Teams. Ngayon, which team are you on? Cast your votes. So, in order for you to be able to cast your votes, again, Kapag nakalogin po tayo sa pollev.com slash R260, automatic po na lalabas po sa inyong mga screen yung options sa alpha, beta, gamma, theta, at pili lang po kayo dyan sa inyong mga screen. Ayan. Pili lang po tayo. Again, ang Poll Everywhere software po ay free to use po uh, with limited 27 um students at a given time 
<coughs> per different interactions. Okay? Pe pwede po natin itong i-view gaya na ito sa ating website or pe pwede natin i-integrate sa ating Google Slides ng madali. Okay? Which team are you on? Alpha, Beta, Gamma, or Theta? Okay? Um, for a while po, medyo may konting technical difficulty po ulit. Okay? Okay, but it, now we're we're back. Okay, so Caribbean po sa atin ay pumili ng alpha team which is at 72% po. Okay? So, pwede natin gamitin to to be able to know kung ano, kung pag nag-groupings tayo, kung pantay nga ba yung number of students na nasa groupings po natin. Okay? At kung yung mga pulso po nila, for example. Okay. Now, for a while. Um, after after those specific examples po, may isa pa po tayong uri ng... Um, May isa pa po tayong uri ng, um, what you call this, um, example available, which is yung ating parang um, leaderboards or game. Okay? Um, I-show ko lang po ulit itong aking, ito, i-play ko lang po ito for a while. Let me just uh, share my screen again. Okay? Game ka na ba po yung title po neto? So, um, if you will notice, ito ay similar po dun sa ating um, ginagawa po um, types of interaction kanina. Ang difference ng neto is naka-group together po siya. So, ito po yung leaderboard na tinatawag kung saan isang um, top or fastest na responder lang ang pwedeng makita at nag-event time. At magkakaroon po lang scoreboard kung sino po yung ating um, pinakamataas ang score or pinakamadaming nasagot dito. So, I'm just going to play this po at pasok po ulit tayo sa paulev.com slash rafaeljohnr260. So, game ka na ba? So, again, ito po ay may limang questions na po. Madaling madali lang. Na pwede po natin sagutan po right now. Okay? So, pasok lang po tayo dito sa paulev.com slash rafaeljohnr260 at mag-start po tayo ng ating question po. Okay? So, let's start with question number one. Ngayon, again, kapag uh, leaderboards po ito, kapag ating competition, take note, paunahan po ito ng sagot kung sinong unang maka-enter maka or makapidi ng tamang sagot, yun po magkakaroon ng pinakamataas na points po natin. Okay? Sinong unang presidente ng Pilipinas? Ayan, and then the uh, options are up. Pili po tayo. So, pwede po tayo maglagay ng timer dito. As you can see on the lower left, pwede yung customize kung gano'ng katagal yung ating poll. Okay? And then afterwards, pwede po tayong, ayan, makita po natin yung ating results ng ating poll. Meron po tayong 24 um, poll results as of the moment. So ang sagot po nila ay si Emilio Gallardo, which is yung tamang sagot po. Siya po ang ating unang presidente ng ating mansa. Okay? So 100%. Congratulations. Tama po yung sagot po natin lahat. Okay? Kaya number now before uh, before going to the next question, lalabas po yung ating leaderboards. Kung sino yung pinakamadaming, pinakamataas na sagot. So number one natin si Sir Alvin Caril at si second on second place si, si Donna, sumunod si Elaine, si Evangeline, si Evon, si Pearl, si Jamie, si Jen at si Jules. The boat ay lahat sila ay bero 1000 points kasi lahat sila ay tama sa unang sa, uh, sa unang question po natin. Now let's head out to question number two. Okay? So, again, uh, in order for you to be able to respond, go to paulev.com slash rafaeljohnr260. So, sa question naman po natin to, in the sentence, the quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. Fox is considered as the verb, do or false. Okay? Pili na po kayo ng ating sagot. Verb nga ba yung fox sa sentence na, the quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog? Okay? May timer po tayo dito. 3, 2, 1, and 0. Tapos na po yung responses. And now we have 
24 responses for this specific question. Verb nga ba? Yung fox, true or false? The correct answer is true. Ay, sorry. Fox pa, ang fox ay isang uh, noun. Sorry. Hindi pala siya verb. Okay, so uh, unfortunately, dito nakalagay po yung uh, nalagay sa setting is true. But um, of course, you could reflect the appropriate answer kapag in-edit out po ito yung question, for example. So majority of the people that uh, answered false, ito po yung dapat at the correct answer, which is the 98% of the people who answered this one. Okay? Now, uh, leaderboard po natin. May mga dumating po yung mga pumalit po sa ating uh, dumagdag sa ating uh, leaderboard na si na um, Ana Marina Bandong, tapos si Froylan Espos de Guzman. Okay? Ngayon, ito ay uh, mag-gawa ng, uh, head out naman po tayo sa isang math question. Simplify 2x minus 2 times 2x minus 2. Okay? Again, to reply, go to paulev.com slash rafaeljohn r260. Okay? Math question naman po tayo ngayon. Now, the choices are Ayan, 8x raised to the second power plus 4x plus 16. Tapos next um, option is 4x raised to the second power or squared plus 4. And then the next option is 4x squared minus 4. And then the last option is 4x squared minus 8x plus 4. Okay? Now, um, tally in your um, responses. Currently, we have 24 um, responses that are tied in. Okay? So, 38% of those na sumagot po ng ating poll ang nagkaroon ng tamang sagot, which is 4x squared minus 8x plus 4. Okay? Ngayon, mag-update po yung ating leaderboard based dito sa mga nakakuha ng tamang sagot po natin. Ayan, so napalitan na po yung ating um, the rest of the uh, uh, contestants po natin. Ang natili po sa ating leaderboard is si Leslie at uh, si Teng456. Ngayon, these are new entries. Si Naevon, si Joel, si Alvin Caril um, at 5. With um, Anna Marie Bandong at 5. And Donna at 5. As well as Elaine and Evangeline. Okay? Good job po sa ating lahat. Okay? Ngayon, um, another thing is ito po. Which of the following are states of matter? So, pwede po tayo mag-select ng isa sa mga responses available po dito. Okay? Any of the following po yung ating pwede sagutan po dito. Now, ito po yung ating choices. Which of the following are states of matter? Solid, liquid, gas, or light? Alin po dito ang states ng matter? Pili na po kayo. Okay? So, the poll is locked. Tapos na po yung ating timer. Okay, now let's check out the responses. Alin dito yung mga states ng matter? Okay? Um, as you notice, lahat ito tatlo na to ay may check, meaning sila ay tama kahit alin sa tatlo na to ang sinagot ng ating learner, magiging tama yung ating sagot. So, if you notice, majority ng sa ating mga um, answers is that um, solid with 75% of the answers, liquid is 4%, gas is 13%, at may mga konting sumagot po ng ating light, which is at 8%. Okay? So, with those specific answers, let's check out the leaderboard. Sino na po ang nangunguna sa atin? Okay? So, may bagong top scorers po tayo, si Lani Ocampo, si, Le uh, si Leslie, at si Tank456 ay atili sa top first position. Sumunod sa number 4 si Yvonne, at number 5 si Joel, number 6 si Micah P, number 7 si AJ, number 7 si Alvin Caril. Okay? So, yung mga ganito pong um, engagements or games, uh, maganda po itong gamitin para ma-ensure na buhay na buhay at andito po yung ating mga learners na nagpa-participate po sa ating mga lessons. Okay? Now, last question. Poll Anywhere is an application for audience participation. True or false? Poll Anywhere is an application for audience participation. Again, in order for you to respond, please go to paulev.com slash rafaeljohnr260. Okay? True or false lang po ito. True or false. We have 8 seconds and going. We have 25 results for now. Poll Anywhere is an application for audience participation, true or false. Now, let's see the answers. Okay? 
The correct answer is Paul. False. Kasi it's Paul everywhere. Hindi po anywhere. Everywhere. So sorry po sa mga sumagot ng true. The correct answer is false. It's Paul everywhere. Okay? So ito po yung ating example ng ating mga games po natin. Ayan. And again, at the end of the question, may leaderboard po tayo. And right now, ang ating uh, top scorers is si Lani Ocampo with 2,000 points. Tied with Leslie at 2,000. Tech 456 at 2,000. Number 4 si Evon at, at 1,938. Number 5 si Froilan Espon de Guzman at 1,875. Number 6 si Joel at 1,813. Number 7 si Micah P at 1,688. At number 8 si AJ at 1,000 points. Congratulations po sa ating lahat. Okay? Now, um, since nakita na po natin kung paano... Um, Ginagamit po yung at, kung ano yung examples ng ating um, different activities available sa ating Paul Everywhere software or app or website. Ngayon, check na po natin kung paano ginagawa isa-isa yung mga ganitong specific na activity. Okay? Now, uh, let me just um, switch for a while. Escape ko lang po ito. And then, I'm going to go at the homepage ng Paul Everywhere po. Okay, load lang po sa glit. Ngayon, uh, mag-log out po ako dito para ipakita sa inyo kung paano mag-sign up ng isang libreng account sa ating Paul Everywhere na software. So, again, madaling-madali pong mag-sign up dito. Just go to pauleverywhere.com, tapos click natin yung sign up. Okay, so may options dito, participate in a presentation, kung participant, or present with Paul everywhere. Okay, so since mga teachers po, let's click on I'm a presenter kasi tayo ay gagawa ng ating mga presentations. Okay, ngayon sa ating presenter sign up, um, pwede po natin um, i-fill up ito gaya ng normal na pag-sign up sa mga websites kung saan pwede natin ilagay yung ating pangalan, email, at password. Okay. Or mas madaling paraan is with uh, signing up with Google. So one click lang po ito. Kung naka-sign in po kayo with your Google account, so yung mga binigay po dito with our um, DepEd Google uh, Google accounts. So kapag naka-sign in po tayo sa ating browser, mas madali pong makapag-sign up for a new Paul Everywhere um, account. So click lang po natin to. Parang ito yung um, nakalagay with sign up with Facebook sa ating mga apps para easy to connect. So click sign up with Google. Now, kapag nag, tayo po ay nag-sign up for an account, um, by default, ang bibigay po sa ating account is the intro version. So, I'm going to select my current email, my current account, and then it will bring me dun sa ating interface dito. Okay? So, ang laman po nating Paul Everywhere software, ito po yung ating um, homepage na napakadali po nito. Napaka-minimalist po yung ating um, interface po. Um, on top is yung ating Paul Everywhere icon, polls, customization reports, and more. Ngayon, itong customization reports at teams, um, unfortunately, as of the moment, ito ay, kung makikita nyo, meron siyang um, diamond icon, means that this is a premium um, feature ng ating Paul Everywhere software. So, kapag nag-upgrade po tayo ng account, doon lang maging available itong customization report at yung ating teams. Pero don't worry, kahit naman po hindi tayo gumagamit ng paid version, is meron pa rin tayong mga features na pwede natin gamitin sa ating Paul Everywhere na website. So, para madali po tayo makapag-create po ng ating mga um, polling in, poll questions or interactions, click lang po natin yung create. So, pag-click po natin ng create, ayan, lalabas na po dito yung iba't iba po nating options kung ano yung iba't ibang types ng interaction ang gusto po nating ibigay sa ating mga students. So, whether it's a multiple choice question, a word cloud, or a Q&A question, or yung clickable image, gaya nung pinakita ko kanina sa Cordillera Autonomous Region, pwedeng-pwede po yan. Now, let's start first with creating a multiple choice question. Okay? So, let's ask uh, a question over here. So let's start. Uh, let's let's ask a, a specific question regarding, uh, for example, science.
Yeah, for example, itong kanina, which of the following are states of matter. Tapos, saka po tayo po pwede maglagay po dito ng ating mga choices. So, pwede po siyang text, image, um, URL, or latex. Pwede rin po tayo mag-upload po dito ng ating images kapag kilik po natin to. But for now, we'll be dealing with only text um, uh, inputs po natin. Okay? So, for now, we'll be inputting, for example, solid. And then, the next choice would be liquid. And then, siyempre, mayroon pa tayo iba pang options na nalagay. So, add an option, gas, tapos yung kanina, lagay natin isa pang option, light. Okay. Um, to indicate kung alin dito yung tamang sagot, we just simply click on these check marks before the um, choices para ma-mark siya as correct answer. So, again, kapag nag-click po yung ating mga students dito, um, ito yung magiging tamang sagot sa ating mga responses po nila. Ngayon, Pag nag-scroll down po tayo, pwede tayo mag-assign ng activity sa isang group. Uh, like, like, let's say, for example, sa isang lesson natin, pwede natin i-group po yung mga questions para lahat itong, for example, sa chapter 1 kasama or sa lesson 2 kasama, pwedeng-pwede po yan. So, for example, dito may default and then meron ako dito kanina yung pinakita sa inyong mga example which is yung naka-group ko sa hobby. Now, I'm going to create a different group for this one. Let's try this one. Uh, I'll be naming this as Paul Everywhere Sample. So, ito po yung magiging group ng aking question number one. So, um, after this one, pwede po natin i-click yung create or add another activity. Kapag add another activity, directly magbibigay po siya ng isa pa uling question. Kapag create, babalik po tayo dun sa pinaka-menu po natin. So, I'm going to click on create sa part na to. Ayan. Ngayon, um, since nakarit ko po yung ating question, pwede ko po siyang i-customize habang nandito po sa ating window na to. So, <coughs> again, meron po tayong options dito to configure, to test, and to present. Sa so current configure po natin, pwede po natin baguhin yung how people respond or kung paano sasagot yung mga learners po natin. Um, for now, pwede po tayong mag-check uh, check po natin via website or via text messaging. Okay? So, parang ito yung sa uh, na, uh, 2000 years na game ka na ba na pwede tayo mag-text ng ating mga responses para sumagot. But as of the moment, uh, mas maigi po na uh, sa ating website po tayo sasagot. So, click lang po natin yung website and then tanggalin na lang natin tong check sa text messaging. Okay? Kasi as of the moment, international text po yan. So, medyo makain po sa load. So, let's stick with the website lang muna. Then, then um, audience restriction and identity, customize din po natin ito. Yan, pwede pong available to everyone. Unfortunately, kapag sa free version po, um, di pwede siya may restrict as of the moment. So, anyone with the link can view yung ating mga questions. Okay? And then, how do we want the to identify the participants? Pwede may screen name or pwede, pwede anonymous. Kapag anonymous, kahit sino pwede sumagot dito. Mas maganda po kapag pinakita po natin yung screen name para at least alam natin kung sino yung mga sumasagot sa ating mga questions. And then, the response settings. Ayan. So, kung kanina, kung mapapansin nyo, isang beses lang pwede sumagot. Ngayon dito, pwede nyo i-customize kung kunwari, kung gusto nyo pwede twice na sumagot yung isang tao. But take note, be careful kapag ito yung option natin kasi each poll has a limit on the number of responses it can receive. So, as mentioned earlier, meron tayong 27 maximum um, audience or responses at a given time, at a given poll. Okay? So, ilimit lang po natin to with the acceptable bounds po natin. And then, take note that each option may be selected up to one time or kung ilang beses po natin gustong ilagay po dito. And pwede rin po natin i-allow yung ating users na mag-change yung answer. Kung nai, nagkamali ng pindot si learner, pwede niyang mag-change pa rin siya ng uh, different answer hanggang di natapos yung timer or kung ano ang answer niya, malalock in na. So pwede natin i-change yun by clicking on this, these options. Okay? So, sa ating free version, ito ay walang reply messages, walang custom responses. Kapag sa mas upgraded the versions, may pwedeng merong um, custom response kung mag-explain sa ating mga uh, ng tamang sagot na binigay. But other than that, okay naman po tayo ng walang reply messages na ma-indicate lang natin yung ating correct answers. Okay, so before testing it out, let's try out the options dito naman sa kaliwa, which is yung visual setting and all. So, visual setting, click po natin to. 
Ayan. So, um, as noted dito, upgrade your um, account to add your own logo, colors, and fonts. So, as of the moment, pwede mo lang palitan yung different um, settings niya kung ito ay bar chart, donut, or column chart. Kung patayo siya or what not. Okay? So, change ko lang siya into a donut chart and then I'll be checking on, clicking on my team. So, my different teams are available from classic to dark or to bright. So, I'm going to select bright. And then for the color schemes, um, take note, again, since limited po yung account natin, ang available text colors lang natin ay kung ano yung available dito, which is the default color blue, purple everywhere. Kasi part ng branding po nila yun. Similarly, with the font, hindi po natin makakustomize properly po yung type of font natin kapag tayo ay nasa free version, pero okay lang naman yun. Pwede naman po natin palitan po yung ating font size. Ito yung mga... Available options po natin dito. Pwede small, smallest, or medium. So, I'm just going to go with small. Now, let's just keep yung voting instructions na naka-check. Okay? Para nakalagay sa ibabaw yung instructions para madaling makapag-reply yung ating mga students. Now, pwede natin i-customize din yung title. Unfortunately, for these following options, voting instructions sa title, yung ating text color ay nakalock dahil ito ay isang preview feature as well as with the other given uh, um, customizations, okay? So, um, after we confirm the visual settings, i-activate po natin tong poll para pwedeng uh, ma-visit po ng ating mga students at pwedeng mag-interact. Okay? Kapag active po siya, magiging kulay blue din po siya. Pwede po natin ipakita yung responses or pwedeng i-hide kung ilan yung mga taong bumoto po doon. Save changes lang po tayo. Okay? So, if you'd notice kayon, um, magmula dun sa ating pie chart kanina, uh, bar chart rather, pwede lang maging pie chart siya ngayon, at naka-color code na automatically yung mga responses natin, depending kung ano yung magiging response ng ating student. So, for now, zero lang to dahil hindi pa siya mag-accept ng response. Okay? So, right now, I'm going to go, uh, let's go into test this out. So, by clicking on the test dito sa kanan po natin, we can test out the option. So, ito yung maging itura niya kapag sa learner po natin. So, yung question sa taas, katulad na nakikita nyo kanina sa inyong mga cellphone, uh, which of the following are the states of matter, yung mga questions, and then yung responses natin. Okay? Now, since this look good, we could reply with this one. It would reflect with our uh, donut over here. Ngayon, um, pwede po natin i-lock yung ating um, poll kung ayaw po natin magkaroon ng responses. But I'll be keeping this unlocked for now. And then, kapag may responses po ito, pwede po natin i-clear later on. Okay? Now, um, kapag i-represent na po natin, we could go full screen para mas kita po yung mga questions. Ito, doon kanina, naka-full screen po ako para mas, um, mas kita po at ma-experience po natin easily yung ating mga polling questions. Now, kapag mag-represent na po tayo, we're just going to click on present over here. At ito yung mga guidelines on how to present. So, presenting from the web, so again, as mentioned, katulong ginagawa ko kanina, you will ask your audience and then to log in with the given response website or URL and then um, present from the web by clicking on full screen. Tapos, stop presenting by pressing escape on the keyboard. And also, pwede rin po natin i-share po itong response na link natin. So, kung nuwari kung gumagamit tayo ng Google uh, Classroom dito or other learning management system, pwede po natin i-paste yung um, response link doon para mas madali po silang makapag-bigay uh, po ng responses doon. Diyan sila mag input ng website. Click lang nila yung link at mag-redirect na yung browser nila papunta dito sa ating um, responses. Okay? Now, uh, pwede mo rin namang makita yung live results at yung embedded ng poll. So, kunwari, kung may website po kayo, gusto yung ilagay po doon yung ating mga polls, pwede, pwede din po yon by clicking on one of these two options po natin. Now, let's try out this specific um, poll. I'm going to go full screen and then let's save first. And then, ayan, let's try to get the responses from our participants. So, kanina habang nag-edit po ako, may mga nag -e respond na po. Again, kung gusto nyo pa mag-respond, kindly go to pollev.com slash rafaeljohnr260. At if you notice po, puwasak na po yung responses natin dito with, ayan, and counting. Solid, 83%. Gas at 30%. Liquid, medyo negligible yung uh, response sa atin dito. 
Okay? So, these are the responses available. So, again, you could change the different types of graphs para mapakita kung um, ilan sa ating mga students yung nakapagsagot ng getong specific answer, kung ilan yung nagbigay sa kanila ng other um, other answers from the given choices. Okay? So, as mentioned earlier, pwede mong press yung escape key to close this part off. Okay? And then, uh, since medyo press na po ako for time, uh, we're roughly around uh, 15 minutes more to go. So, uh, I'm going to give another example na lang po. Uh, you could explore this on your own po if you would like later on. Uh, you could uh, choose your different, um, what you call this, your different types of uh, interaction. But for now, I'll be uh, utilizing the word cloud as my, as my last type of example. So in order for me to create a word cloud, I'm going to um, click on word cloud over here. Ayan. Tapos visualize audience response as a word cloud. Again, dito po atin nilalagay yung question po natin. Uh, they're just going to type in a question for now. So let's say, um, what can you say about the poll everywhere up? For every website. Yan. Okay. Again, ilalagay ko po ito sa ating group na assign ko po siya sa ating default na lang po muna for now. And then I'm going to click on create. So, kapag na-create ko po ito, again, pwede po natin babalik po tayo sa customizing screen. Kung saan pwede po natin customize yung ating responses, yung ating um, how, how our audience would be able to um, reply to this one. So, i-off ko yung text message ulit kasi, again, international yan for now kasi buong Asia yung available sa kaya at hindi, at hindi um, directly Philippines only. So, web only para mas padali maka-join. Uh, visual setting. Pwede natin gawing uh, word cloud or text wall or cluster. I'm going to choose cluster for now para maiba naman. Okay? I-click ko yung loop. Para mag-loop lang yung ating mga answers dito, effect speed, uh, gawin ko lang low para mas mabagal lang onte. Yung theme would be uh, dark. And then, there's your other options. As again, as mentioned earlier, medyo premium feature siya. So, let's take, out, let's take with that. So, uh, I'm, going, I'm going to save. And then, I'm going to activate my um, poll right now. Tapos, you click yung show responses para mapakita yung mga responses ng ating audiences. Now, I'm going to go full screen para makita. Oy, kung, oy meron ka agad sumasagot. Engaging. Thank you very much po. Interesting. Informative. Very good. Thank you very much po sa inyong mga comments po natin right now. Friendly, friendly user. I, I mean, baka user-friendly po. Ayan. <laughs> Thank you. Interactive. Ayan. Okay, uh, shoutout lang po again sa mga teachers po natin na nag-react po dito sa ating live chat. Okay, thank you very much po for your very warm um, participation and feedback regarding our um, our current webinar. So, fantastic, informative, very useful, very inter interesting. Okay, thank you very much po para sa lahat. Uh, of course, again, please do keep uh, keep posted with Habit Technologies for other seminars and other webinars na pwede po natin magamit sa ating mga classrooms, okay? There would be a lot more different topics that are in store for us, okay? Thank you very much po. Okay? So, um, for now, dito lang po muna ako mag, um, magpapakita po ng example po natin. We will stop with this one. Um, I'm going to show you before uh, before heading out, I'm going to show you how to clear the responses. So, for example, ito na yung responses natin at gusto natin um, gamitin uli itong activity ito for the next time. Um, again, as mentioned, it's limited to 27 users at the maximum at a given time. And para kung mag-reuse mag tayo, we need to clear out the responses. So, when I click on clear responses over here, mawawala po lahat yung responses natin. Sorry. But it is, this would enable you to be able to respond again at a later time. So, clear responses. Magwa-wipe off to. Back to zero uli siya. So, kapag may nag-respond uli ngayon, yan, babalik uli yung ating mga responses ato. So, this is useful kapag, for example, sa section sa section A, in-apply natin yung polls natin. Tapos, gagamitin uli natin siya sa section B. 
Okay? Now, we before engaging, before um, using um, these polls sa section B, i-clear out lang natin responses sa si section A para magamit uli natin. Kasi yun yung mga workaround natin sa ating um, software po natin so that we'll be able to keep on using the free resource at the moment. Okay? So, I'm going to press escape key for now. And then, uh, I'm going to uh, go back to my presentation for uh, from the for the last part, salang po. And then uh, we'll be I'll be giving the floor back to our moderator. Window for now, okay. Uh, window and then presentation. Share, okay. Zoom slideshow, okay. So uh, we have now tried it out. Thank you very much, teachers, for trying it out. And I hope that you would be exploring this specific tool later on as you go with your um with your uh sessions, virtual learning sessions. So again, uh, these are the sources that I use for my uh for the content. So it's best if it's always imperative that kapag tayo ay represent, kapag tayo ay gumagawa ng mga presentations or researches and the not to be able to cite our sources properly and also to be able to cite our credits properly. So again, all of these images that I have used are uh, from stock images from free free and easy to use stock images libre po uh, from mostly from pexas.com. Okay? So kapag tayo ay magpe-present po, kapag maiwasan po natin yung copyright infringement kasi hindi lahat ng mga content na makikita natin sa internet ay pwede nating basta i-copy and paste. So it's best to use resources that are from these specific websites na um, allows us with their copyright uh, to be able to for us to be able to share them for educational purposes okay so thank you very much po uh, and I hope that you guys will be able to join us again for a uh, different hobby set hobby technologies webinar so I'll be um, giving back the stage to our moderator thank you very much po ulit, mga surat ma'am okay Thank you very much po, Mr. Rafael John A. Rivera for sharing a very interesting and informative topic to all our kahabis. To all our kahabis naman po who actively participated on all the activities and all the activities even by our resource person and even those who commented and greeted po in our YouTube channel. Thank you very much po. So for the meantime, we will be having na po our question and answer portion. Okay, sir? Okay. Sir RJ? Okay. So yeah. here are the questions po. Let's have question number one. How many minutes po ba ang kailangan sa synchronous virtual class? Okay. Ang synchronous virtual classes po natin, again, uh, ang ating, uh, what you call this, for now sa, sa mga schools regulation po natin, wala pa pong binibigay na mga set number of uh, minutes para sa ating engagement with our students. But for now, um, let's keep it at a maximum of an hour kasi yun yung pinakamahabang uh, learning session po natin with our students. But as noted, again, depende po ito with, uh, with the current context ng ating students kung ang available lang na time with the schedule is for 30 minutes or 45, depending on the period na naka-assign po sa atin, yun po yung i-apply po nating um, number of hours or minutes sa ating um, learning sessions. Okay. Next question pa? Yes, thank you, sir. Question number two. Pwede rin po bang gamitin ang messenger for students' reactions and communication as well? Okay, thank you very much po sa question po na yan. As I mentioned earlier, madami po tayong mga um, features or um, applications na pwedeng gamitin. Um, para dun sa mga areas na wala po talagang um, as of the moment na recommended na technology sa mga divisions or sa school po ninyo, um, at the very least, yes, in a, in a way, pwede po natin gamitin yung messenger. But take note po na kailangan um, ilimit po natin yung ating... Um, messaging sa chat po natin na ganyan. Like, for example, we need to use a dedicated teacher account, a dedicated um, Facebook group for that specific class. Kasi um, 
social media is used for us to be able to connect to other people socially at your learning management systems ay specifically created po para makapag-interact sa mga students. So again, dalawang magkaibang system, dalawang magkaibang platform, dalawang magkaibang use. So it's best na gumamit tayo ng LMS like Google Classroom and the like or Google Chat na naka-separate po yung ating uh, responses sa kanila para naka-separate yung buhay uh, buhay guro at yung buhay privado po natin. Okay? Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you po, sir. Question number three. Is there a time limit for the free version of the poll everywhere? Or we can use it for free all the time? Hello po. Yes po. Oh, good question po yan. As mentioned earlier po, wala po tayong, uh, wala siyang time trial kumpara sa ibang mga software na for example, one month free lang po. Ito po, pwede mo siyang gamitin indefinitely. As mentioned, ang ating tanging uh, downside sa free version natin is that there is only a limited number of students or participants, 27 to be exact, na po pwede mag-reply sa ating post at a given time. So other than that um, uh, restriction, uh, wala naman pong restriction sa number of use or sa tagal ng paggamit. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Here's another question po. Add-on for Google Slide po yung poll everywhere? Hello po. Ayan. Good. Uh, thank you po for the question. Kanina po, uh, pinakita ko po na pwede po siyang i-add-on. Pwede, pero pwede rin po siyang um, as is po siyang gamitin. So, para magamit mo siya as is, pwede po kayong, guba, pwede po kayong pumunta sa uh, Paul Everywhere website or i-download yung app nila. Pero para sa mga bata, para hindi sila maggastos ng additional data, I suggest na gamitin nilang yung website. Now, kapag um, kung gusto nyo po siyang integrate sa inyong Google Slides, kung yun po yung ginagamit nyo sa inyong presentations, pwede kayong mag-download ng add-on from the extensions store ng Google para mas madali nyo malagay yung ating quizzes sa inyong mga slide presentations. Ayun po. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you. Question on number five. Hanggang ilang students po ang kayang i-handle ng poll everywhere? Hello po. Ayun, as mentioned earlier po, kapag free version, which is yung nire-recommend ko dahil sa ating mga limitations as of the moment, it's 27 students or 27 audiences at a given time. Kaya kung mapapansin nyo po dun sa last activity ko po, kini-clear ko po yung responses para mag-allow ng additional responses sa kanya. Ngayon, kung ito ay, uh, let's say, bibili ng inyong school yung subscription or bibili ng inyong division yung subscription, mas maganda po talaga yung uh, mga premium uh, versions. But again, let's not put, the, let's not put that uh, burden on the teachers. Kaya as teachers, if you want to use this, we just stick with the free version with the 25, stu 25 students or 25 um, participants available. Thank you. Okay, so last but not least question po, sir. Can Paul yes, Everywhere be integrated on PowerPoint? Um, as uh, based from the based from the examples earlier, po, uh, pwede nyo po siyang integrate po, but it's best na to view it on the website itself po para mas less yung switching po natin. So far, ang seamless na in Ang seamless na interaction po niya, ang seamless na integration is with Google Slides at the moment kasi may dedicated po siyang um, extension po. Kapag sa PowerPoint po, we would need uh, a bit of tweaking para maigamit po siya. Otherwise, sa inyong sessions, pwede naman po kayong gamamit ng habang nagpe-present po ng presentation, mag-switch screen lang po tayo or switch tab lang po tayo gaya nung paglipat ko kayo na from my um, PowerPoint presentation to Paul Everywhere website. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you, sir. So that's our Q&A portion of ano? So thank you very much, Sir RJ, for answering all the questions. And to all our participants who have raised your questions, thank you very much po. We are hoping po that all the queries have been cleared. Okay, so sir, uh, for yes, the bottom ma? line po of your today's discussion, may we ask for your final message po to all our viewers. Okay. Uh, message ko lang po is that uh, 
as teachers, we have a plethora of tools that are available. So, napakarami tayong wina-webinar right now. Iba't ibang tools, iba't ibang platform. Ang suggestion ko po is gamitin nyo po kung anong most available po sa inyo. Kung kunwari, kung wala available licenses sa ghetto, let's stick with the free versions that are available. Let's stick with the free software that, uh, that are available. Hindi po ating kailangan uh, gumamit ng mga pirated versions. There are freeware available. That's why I'm always util highlighting utilizing Google. Kasi ito ay isang libreng platform, isang libreng um, office suite po sa atin. And there are uh, other other platforms and other software that are available for us na gagamitin, na libre lang po gamitin. Uh, let's utilize po kung anong meron po sa atin ngayon. Okay? Um, other than that po, uh, thank you very much everyone. Uh, you could be able to contact me again at rjrivera.id at gmail.com Okay? Or you could uh, you could catch me again with Habi Tech Web Technologies for other instances po. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you very much po, sir. Once again, our resource person po for today, Mr. Rafael John A. Rivera. Okay, so before we end po our session, let me just remind all our kahabis out there with this a few announcements. If you are willing to watch the video again or you have missed watching today, you may still watch our webinar replay on our FB page. So that's Happy Web Technologies. Please like and follow po to get updated to all our announcements and upcoming webinars. Our webinar replays are also available po at our YouTube channel. Please do not forget to subscribe and click the tiny bell para updated din po kayo sa aming videos. And you may also follow us on our website. Just visit www.happywebtechnologies.com and click webinars. At the top menu, click the webinar code HWTVLTT001. No need to remember the code na po. Dahil nandiyan din po ang webinar name. So click nyo po yun and you will see the links for the webinar video. Sa website nyo rin po makikita ang form for the quiz. Reminder lang po, our quiz is one take only. At evaluation form that will open today at 1 p.m until July 24, and certificate na magiging available on July 31. Sa mga hindi pa po nakakapag-register, pwede po kayong umabol. All you have to do is follow the registration process. How to register po? Number one, like and follow our FB page for updates and notifications. Number two, subscribe to Happy Web Technologies YouTube channel. Number three, Click going as the response to the FB events that we've released on our page. Number four, sharing is caring. So share our events on your timeline or group chats so your friends, family, and colleagues can join too. Please read the event details carefully and just wait for the live stream on the scheduled webinar date and time. After po nyan, Panoorin po natin ang replay videos na namiss natin na sessions and make sure na may submit ang requirements within the deadline. Okay, so please be updated naman po on our upcoming webinars. Okay, what are our upcoming free webinars? On July 20, 22, and 23, we will be having three-day image editing using Adobe Photoshop. On July 25, we will be having creative video presentation for teachers, practitioners, and students. On July 31, we'll be having developing collaborative skills among learners. August 3, practical cybersecurity awareness for teachers. August 5 and 7, we'll have two-day extensive Google Forms. August 11 and 13, we'll have two-day extensive Google Classroom. August 17, we'll have Open Broadcaster Software, Part 2. And on August 20, we'll be having Exploring Online Quiz Applications. So please, be updated po on our upcoming webinars. Okay, so we are done po with our discussion. Thank you very much po to all our Kahabis who have showed their support and love to Hobby Web Technologies team. But let me also 
say thank you po and extend my gratitude to my Valpoli family headed po by our officer in charge, none other than Dr. Nedeño C. Toralba, our college administrator, Mama Sonson, hi ma'am, our college dean, Dr. Maricel F. Mauricio, our senior high school principal po and head of the non-formal department, Ma Maria Cecilia A. Romano, all faculty members and school staff, good morning po. And additional announcement din po, no? Just want to share this to all our viewers. The PCPD po will be having its International Integrated Research Conference. They will be po, our conferences, or conference dates will be po on October 16 to 18 and October 23 to 25, 2020. So they are now accepting action researchers for presentation. So top 20 action research studies po selected by the panel will be published online through the Philippine Journal of Action Research. So you may submit na po your abstract to iirc.pcpd2020 at gmail.com. Ayan, so thank you po. And once again, thank you very much po to all our Kahabis for showing your love and support to Hobby Web Technologies team. And let us all stay safe. God bless us all. And we hope to see you again in our next webinars. Bye po. Thank you to all teachers po.